What up, TTC? Sunsnero6 here. Syracuse fans, how are we doing tonight? Um, it's time for the Syracuse football spring game report. Today was the spring game here at SU, and uh, it's time for my recap and my thoughts and uh, what I expect so far. Uh, first things first, it was a, it was a decent crowd today, about 4,000. Now, I know all you SEC guys who are watching this are going to be like, yeah, only 4,000, we get that at one practice. Well, that's pretty good for Syracuse, considering the way the program has been the last few years. So, it's about 4,800, close to 5,000. So, not a bad crowd. Um, I was there with the marching band today, and uh, uh, it was drum major auditions, so a little annoying. We had to play the same songs over and over again, but still fun. Good to play a drum again. Or, we have new snare drums, so... It's uh, really, really good stuff. Anyway, um, my thoughts on the game itself. Uh, first of all, it technically wasn't a game. His numbers are still down, so it was uh, more of a scrimmage-type thing, scrimmage-type drills. wasn't that bad, though. Um, we did see a lot of uh, good stuff and some not-so-good stuff. I'll get down to it, and I'll kind of break it down by position. Uh, first of all, at quarterback, um, last time I saw both Nassib and Loeb, both of them gave me cause for concern. But at this point, I'm revoking a little bit, a bit of that concern because both of them looked really, really good at times today. Loeb threw a couple of 40-yard bombs for touchdowns, um, especially those two or three passes he threw to Marcus Sales. One of them went to the house for six and... Looked really good. And then in the second half of practice, or second half of the game, Ryan Nassib really lit it up and uh, started throwing a lot of great passes. He threw a couple touchdowns, hit uh, Alec Lemon over the middle for, I think it was a 30 or 40 yard touchdown. Um, so the quarterbacks definitely looked a lot better today than the last saw them. And, you know, I think Nassib will get the starting job, and Loeb will probably. Give him a fight, but I think he's going to be the backup. Uh, running backs, DeLon Carter right now is suspended for an incident involving an assault. He was charged with a misdemeanor assault charge. Come on, man. Um, regardless of whether or not he gets off legally, he will probably run into some trouble with judicial affairs, and I have a feeling Coach Marone's going to come down hard on him, too. So... He's hoping for the best, and then hopefully he's back by camp. But luckily the spring's over, so it's not like he's going to miss much. Uh, so DeLon Carter was out. However, Antoine Bailey and uh, Avery Collier both look great today. Now, they don't they don't really serve very well a purpose when they're running up the middle. Their best um, plays are when they're ever, whenever they're running to the outside. So they looked great when they were doing outside runs. And uh, let's just say a couple of times they broke off some big runs, including Avron Collier, who pretty much got out of the ta out of a tackle and ran to the ran to the house. And it really looked nice. Antoine had a couple of great runs like that too. Um, Avron's runs, however, were against the second team defense. He was playing with the second team offense today. But still, you know, he has a lot of speed. Same thing with Antoine. I think that's what Coach Marron likes: his speed and. Hopefully when Carter gets back, he's more of our bruiser type back. We'll be able to use him up the middle and then go outside with Coll with uh, Collier and Bailey. Wide receivers, they had a good day today. Much better day than I was thinking. Uh, Aaron Weaver didn't look too great. Dropped a few balls, including a couple balls that seemed very catchable. But Marcus Sales had a great day today with the second team offense. Alec Lemon had some great catches. And also Van Chu had some great hands as well. So receivers look good. Um, a tight end, Jose Cruz made a couple of good plays. He was good. I didn't really hear Nick Provo's name being called very much, so didn't really see much of him. And also David Stevens had a good day with the second team offense. So we have some depth at tight end. It doesn't look bad at all. And at fullback, Adam Harris is really making some strides there, and he will definitely be somebody that we can um, use in in, pro in, uh, in game situations. I think he'll definitely be fitting in well at tight end. It's good to have him back at tight end because he was actually converted to linebacker last year. Offensive line, not thrilled about them, but they came a long way. It's a young offensive line. 
Um, somebody said on the Syracuse.com fan boards, SyracuseFan.com fan boards, that, uh, that they spend a lot of time together on the bench and that they're constantly working together. So that's a good thing that any, any chemistry at all can help this offensive line. And they still have a long way to go, but they're a lot better off than I thought they'd be. They did a nice job with the protection today. And they did, uh, they did some good job run blocking as well. On to the defense. The defensive line is obviously right now going through some growing pains because, well, a bunch of the defensive tackles need to step up, especially since Art Jones is leaving. But they did a good job today. Bud Tribby and Andrew Lewis and the other defensive tackles like uh, Anthony Perkins um, and whoever else was there. Sorry if I'm missing a couple. Uh, they look good today. And same thing with the defensive ends. Uh, Chandler Jones was constantly double teams, but he had a really good first step. Brandon Sharp looks pretty good. Uh, Tory Ball was not playing today. He was actually suspended for something. I don't know what. But uh, the defensive ends look good. A couple injured, actually. Uh, Kimmel and also Max Bello didn't play today. They were not even dressed because they were injured. Um, but still, there's a lot of depth on the D-line. That looks good. At linebacker, linebackers are going to be, our, I think, our best assets on defense this year. Darrell Smith and Doug Hogue. Remember those names, Big East fans. And also, well, pretty much all college football fans, remember the names Doug Hogue and Darrell Smith. Those guys are going to be kicking it this year. Both of them have a lot of speed. They have a lot of good football vision. Those guys will be really, really good this year. Um, there is some competition for the third linebacker spot in our 4-3. Right now it's between Ryan Gillum, who didn't play today because he's also suspended for the same incident that DeLon Carter was suspended for. And uh, we'll see what, what, what becomes of that. But uh, also EJ Carter is back. I have a feeling he may get that position because he looked good today. And uh, one thing I'm concerned about, though, with the defense is, like, you know, the second-team defense – is really behind the first team defense. So the second team defense needs to get it together a little bit more because, well, if we get injury injuries on our to our starters, we may not have a lot that we can put in there. The secondary has gotten a lot better too. Philip Thomas uh, is a lot better. He's a great corner. He'll probably start. Uh, Damon Merkerson looked good today too. And uh, a couple of corners injured. Actually, the only well, one of our significant corner injuries was Kevin Scott. He didn't practice today, um, but I'm sure that he's definitely going to be in the conversation. And then at safety, Suter was out, but I have a feeling uh, Spaz Sports. Here's a shout out to you, my man. Um, that Shamarco Thomas is going to get the strong safety spot and start. He's at least going to be splitting time with Suter because Shamarco had a great day today and really looked good even though the defense did give up some big plays here and there. And then Mike Holmes at free safety did a pretty good job today. Uh, generally, it was a good day for the offense. And that's kind of weird because we were probably, a lot of us were expecting the defense to dominate, but the offense did a nice job. And uh, let's just say, you know, this defense is going to make a lot of improvements over the next few months. And the offense, I think, is going to get a lot better. And, well, prediction now, my prediction stays the way it is. 7-5. And maybe a bowl win. So I'm going to say 8-5 and five for next year. The schedule isn't too disgusting. So we're still waiting on a 12th opponent. I have a feeling, though, it might be another, it might be a D1AA opponent. So we may be playing two D1AA opponents. Which will be kind of weird. And I personally don't like it. And it's a very Rutgers thing to do. But uh, we'll see what happens. Up, We'll see what, what they make of it. Anyway, uh, it was a great day. Great day for football. Football team, I think, is going to surprise a lot of people this year. Anyway, that's it for me, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Sunsnero6, and I'm over and out. Have a good night. Peace.